Hi everyone and welcome back to the Trouble Club Project. Today I'm joined with another very talented special guest and she's going to introduce herself and tell us a little bit about her experience and involvement in the performing arts. Hi, um, my name is Sarah Hahn and I play the bass for um, Doherty Valley High School Chamber Orchestra and also jazz band and I'm also, you know, like in Oakland Youth Symphony Orchestra. Um, but yeah, yeah. So when and why did you start playing the bass? Um, so if I have to be honest, I started playing the bass um, simply because like our middle school teachers in orchestra needed bass players. So, you know, I just wanted to like try it out. Um, there wasn't really like a dire reason or like like I didn't ha I didn't feel like obligated to play it, but you know just because we needed some bass players, I tried it out, and then yeah, ever since then I'm here, I guess. So tell us a little bit about your experience playing that instrument. Yeah, so in terms of just like daily experience, I'd say it's very difficult because you know as a shorter person playing like a massive instrument it's hard to like you know just stand stand up all the time um and like sort of like kind of place your fingers on like the bridge i mean not the bridge but like the fingerboard um yeah so it, it's it's very difficult but um otherwise in terms of like the holistic experience just like you know being an orchestra it's really fun i think it's it's refreshing because you know, us basses, we play like the lower end of the instrument. So, yeah. What do you enjoy the most about playing the bass? Um, what I enjoy most, I think it's just kind of knowing the fact that you're the foundation for the entire orchestra. Um, it's like, so like basically like, you know, when you hear an orchestra, you can't really hear the bass, but then like the difference comes when the bass don't, like basses don't play. And from there it's like, oh my gosh, wait, I feel like there's something missing. So I feel like just kind of being there, being that foundation. I mean, it's literally like the basis of the orchestra basses. Yeah, but yeah. What is something that you've learned from your time playing this instrument? Um. Something I learned is you really got to, you, you really just got to like take chances because um, otherwise it's, it's really hard. Like one thing I've learned from bass and just kind of like the experiences around it is that you really have to take advantage of the opportunities around you in order to, you know, like build up your experience and um, like get better as like a bait as like an instrumental like player. Um, but yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, also for for those people who don't know, like what a bass is, can you kind of explain what that is? Yeah, so a bass, you know, in I think a lot of people like um, there's a wide misconception of it being like a larger violin. Um, it's like larger than cello, but it's yeah, it's, it's the largest string instrument out of all like the um, violin, violas, cellos, and it comes in various forms, you know, there's just like an upright bass, which is like a huge one, and there's there are also like um, electric basses that can be upright and just like, you know, in a shape of a guitar. And how much time does it, does it usually take when you practice or like to get those skills? Yeah, as for me, I like to practice at least 20 minutes a day because um, it is like a learning curve you and like it, you have to build up sort of like a muscle memory. So I think 20 minutes is enough to kind of get used to and like practice every day. But um, I aim for 30, but sometimes most of the times it's 20. How has the pandemic affected your music experience and the way you play? Yeah, so actually, like, I know a lot of freelancers, well, like, I'm not a professional musician, but like a lot of freelancers, um, it has affected them. But as for me, I think 
the pandemic taught me a lot about like virtual recordings um and like i think in terms of like how where how you place your phone or like your recording devices like how much time you actually need to like contribute to um recordings um that taught me a lot and kind of like i had to learn it through the heart the way of like do like filming last minute but yeah as for like orchestras you know a virtual orchestra i would say in in person is a lot more fun um you know their physical interaction and just kind of like playing all together is a lot easier because we get to hear each other but as for online it's 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 more independent so it's kind of hard to sync things up sync the rhythms up um yeah so it's a little less fun but i think we're just getting through it what is the most memorable experience you've had playing this instrument hmm. i think the most memorable experience i've had was getting into all state and you know i didn't expect anything because i like auditioned uh in like previous years and you know i didn't make it so i was like okay it's i mean like what's going to be different this year right but when i made it into all state it was kind of like a sense of relief um also i felt like somewhat validated in a way so it was really nice um yeah why do you think the arts specifically music is important and why should it be encouraged in youth um, I think arts, it's sort of, it's very like imperative in terms of like opening your mind because I think music, it's not only about music. It's also just kind of learning about the notes and like kind of practicing your brain to, or like training your brain to read ahead and which can be like applied to, you know, just regular school activities like, you know, reading or, you know, writing. It, it just gives you that, you know, it, it prepares you for like fast thinking um and thus like it's it's it should be encouraged to the youth because i think overall we are in touch like intellectually um a lot more advanced simply because we have we've had that experience with the training um but yeah my last question for you is what advice do you have for people who want to get involved in music and playing an instrument um one advice is pick a instrument that you know you're gonna stick with i think a lot of kids these days especially are sort of just tagging along what their you know older siblings played or what their parents are making them play and that it kind of inevitably like results in not the best outcome either you know you don't pursue like a like a very advanced music career or you just kind of drop out of it completely and which is why i think like just choosing what you want it doesn't have to be you don't have to play an instrument like there are so many various forms of music like you can be um a vocalist like it's it, there's a lot so just picking out what you want and prior to that researching um like different positions different you know types of music that's also pretty crucial too well thank you so much sarah for being here and sharing your experience and knowledge with us yeah thank you that's it for the video make sure to like share and subscribe and we'll see you on wednesday for another video bye everyone